Hi, my name is Sham and I'd like to welcome you to my blog. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your own FTP server. Okay, so why would you set up an FTP server? Now, you and I, when we have to share a file with someone, um, the best way or, or the most uh, preferred way to do it is to uh, attach the file to an email and send it across to the other party or upload the file to a file sharing a free file sharing website and uh, provide the link or send the link to the other party. Now both these methods are fine as long as your file size is within the prescribed limit. Um, it's most likely uh, to be about 25 to 50 MB that is what is usually allowed for free. Now when the file size goes beyond these limits uh, it is, you either have to break up the file into multiple parts and send it to the other party or the best way to do it is to set up an FTP server on your laptop or your desktop and send the other party the link of your FTP server and they will be able to download the files from your computer directly okay so how do you set up your own FTP server okay the first thing to do in order to set up an FTP server uh, is to go onto this website which is called this noip.com okay noip.com and you can head over to this uh, place which says sign up okay and you would like to uh, you, you can enter a username you can create a username for yourself you can enter your email address here and create a password here and this is the place where you choose the host name for your FTP server okay but when you're signing up for the first time uh, you can you can you can check this box that says create my host name later okay so basically you just provide a username an email address and a password and then you just accept saying free sign up you accept the terms and conditions and hit free sign up so once you sign up uh, with noip.com uh, you would be getting an email um, at the email address provided by you um, asking you to confirm the email address so once you confirm with the email address you can come back to this website and sign in and once you sign in you will be uh, presented uh, with this page that says manage domains add domain add a host etc etc uh, you need to go to this place that says add a host okay so I'm going to add a host and I'm going to create a, a, a link for my FTP server okay so this is the link I'm going to create for this video SHYEM 2802014 that's the date today and you can choose from one of the available domains there are a lot of domains some of them are paid domains you can see that here it says enhanced domains these are the ones that you need to pay for uh, however there are some free domains that you can look at um, you can see that no IP free domains my favorite is myftb.org okay so I'm going to uh, create a link for my FTP server that says shyam 28022014 dot myftp dot org okay and you come down and you say add a host okay so once you're done with this it should uh, it should show up here uh, the domain name and the IP address from where you signed up or your current IP address okay next uh, you, you, you want to go to the download section here it says download client okay and you need to download this file okay this is the client uh, that needs to be installed on your machine okay so once you have the software in place we can go ahead and install it okay so this is the file uh, that you need to download I'm gonna open it up and it says agree to the license next 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 okay once you're installed you can run the program okay and it says email address and password now this is the email address and the password that you use for signing up okay so I'm gonna enter my email address now this is not my real email address I just uh, created this email address just for the purpose of this video okay once you signed in you should be able to see the um, the host that you created on the website which is here the one the host that you created manage host yeah you can see that here this is the host that I created and you should be able to see that on the program also okay so now you now you can check you can you can check this host and you can say save it okay so now this is active the next step and the final step to create your FTP server is to install FileZilla server or any FTP server program okay uh, I prefer to use uh, FileZilla 
Now, when you download fi FileZilla, just be uh, you know make sure that you're downloading the server version of the file and not the client version of the file. Okay, you can see that here it says FileZilla server. Okay, so I'm going to double click that and say yes to install. Okay, I do not need a desktop icon, so I'm going to remove that and say next, next, next. I'm going to leave it, everything at the default and I'm just going to install it. Okay, so installation is completed. Once you close this, you should be presented with uh, a pop-up that says connect to the server. I'm going to accept the default settings and the default port number and say OK. And you will be presented with a screen uh, similar to this. Okay, now in order to set this working, um, you need to um, set up an FTP user. Okay, so I'm going to go to edit users and I'm going to create a user okay uh, you can you can hit add here and the name of the user is Sham and I'm gonna set a password for him I'm gonna say this is my password okay that looks good next uh, you need to create a folder or a, a folder for your FTP the home folder for your FTP okay so I'm gonna add a folder here and say I'm going to add my desktop as my home folder. Okay, so once users uh, log in and provide their credentials for the FTP server, they will be presented with the files that are currently sitting on my desktop. Okay, so desktop is the file or the folder that I'm sharing. C drive users Sham desktop. Okay, and uh, the first folder that you create uh, by default becomes your home folder. Okay, so that's why the H over here. So that's the settings. That's about it for configuring an FTP server. I'm going to say OK. OK, it says done sending account settings. OK, I'm going to minimize this and let's test our FTP server. So I'm going to open a browser and I'm going to say FTP colon forward slash forward slash and the name of your host. OK, I hope you're able to see this. OK, now this is better. So you have to say FTP colon forward slash forward slash and the name of your host that you just created shyam 28022014 dot myftp dot org I think that's the one that we used yep and I'm gonna say enter and you're presented with a login screen now you, ne you need to enter the username and password that you uh, created while setting up the FTP server on FileZilla so the username is Sham and the password is this I'm going to say enter and there you go so these are the files that are currently sitting on my desktop okay you can see the one that we use for installation of no IP and FileZilla so that is how you set up an FTP server I'd like to thank you for watching